threw her right leg over. We almost thought I wouldn't fit. Laughed like hell till the gag was over. Feet by the I.O. Raging King for Ron O'Reilly. But a girl, but a girl wants it all. She'll be right down the hall. Her father burst into the room. Screaming screams of blood and slaughter. Two horse pistols in his hands. To shoot the man who was gagging his daughter. Feet by the I.O. Raging King for Ron O'Reilly. But a girl, but a girl wants it all. She'll be right down the hall. His daughter then looked at him, and then she said, I love you, Daddy. Now get your ass out of my room. I brought him here because I wanted to shag me. We fly to the aisle. Make a jig stick for Ron O'Reilly. Body girl, body girl wants it all. Shake it right down the hall. And when he left, his daughter then looked at me and said, You're not done yet. So we put your... So we put your... Ah. <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> and that's my reward. I l I'm gonna screw up a whole lot today. <laughs> and when he left, his daughter looked, then, <laughs> And when he left, his daughter said, well, you're not through, don't be putting your pants on. I've just had one, and you're not done. Then she jumped on me like a hungry Amazon. Be quiet, be I go. Be a jig jig for Ron O'Reilly. Body girl, body girl wants it all. <laughs> Me too! So, exactly, exactly. So, here's the thing, friends, I'd like to ask. First of all, I just said friends, I need to correct that. From this moment on, you are no longer friends. In this moment forward, we are in this space. I will treat you right, and we are all lovers. Yeah! At the end of my show, if you do not walk away satisfied, I have done something wrong. <laughs> and to that end, I should say that if you like my comedy, if you like my music, if you'd like to support me, I have pins, and you can always drop a tip into my basket, but if you'd like to, you will notice my lovely assistant, Saucy. Everyone say, hi, Saucy. Hi, Saucy! Saucy is walking around. If you'd like to drop a tip into the basket, buy a CD, or my brand new, see if I have it in here, that's right, I have, I've moved out of the 1990s. I, I have CDs available, but I also now have, from the 2000s, USB drive. Now this USB drive actually is my digital discography. All three of my CDs on it, including my brand new CD, Indulgences. Uh, but it also has two songs that are unreleased at this point in time. One, I might sing for you shortly. It's called, Have Yourself a Naughty Kinky Christmas. The other is called, uh, Never Trust Tequila. An unreleased version of it, which I will also be singing this set. But if you'd like any of this, raise your hand and Saucy will come over and she is more than happy to service you. No, no. She is more than happy to take care of your needs. God, Wisconsin, she's, she's just going to handle a financial transaction in which both sides are mutually satisfied. Woo! I figure everything's dirty in here. That's right. Uh, but this next song, I said I might sing it for you shortly, and I think I will. Now, what you may not know about me is that I was raised Roman Catholic. <laughs> Who the hell who's Roman Catholic? <laughs> Who? Our, there, or I was raised, I, I don't really follow it anymore, but, but we had an icon who was nailed to a cross. Yeah! That's kinky. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are times that this show surprises even me. Uh, but that's all right, so I was raised Roman Catholic, and during the pandemic, I was at home, uh, spending a lot of time with my cats. And I decided around Christmas time that these songs that mean so much to me and that are, are really burned into our psyche as individuals and as a country, I wanted to write a bit of a parody. And what better way it would be to have yourself a naughty kinky Christmas. But I challenge you, if you pick this up, if you buy the USB or when it's available, 
put this song into your Christmas music rotation. Because it sounds so beautiful. And it's gonna be one where the lyrics are going, you're gonna be like, yeah, we're even. Yeah, we're even. All right, what the hell is this? So I now present to you, have yourself a naughty kitty. Yeah! <laughs> Have yourself a naughty kinky Christmas. Let your freak flag fly. Do the taboo thing you had the urge to try. Have yourself a naughty kinky Christmas. With your bag of toys, whips and cups and things that bring your partner joy. It's alright if it's new to you, just a spank or two would go so. They might get what you hope for, and they'll come before you know. Sure to always use a safe word. Pineapple. <laughs> you can choose some now. Red, yellow, and green, but nothing that might sound like ow. Oh. And have yourself a naughty, kinky Christmas now. Preparatory for a little. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, no. I'd like to ask, by the way, how many of you have have been to one of my shows before? Make some noise. <laughs> there are a lot of front row people here that have never seen my show before. That's what I've seen. All right, so let's find out who has never been to my show before. Make some noise. Thought at first time is, is there anyone in the audience that will not clap or applaud no matter what I ask? Make some noise. <laughs> so close. Uh, for those of you that are here for the very first time at my show, is there anyone that's at their very first Renaissance Festival ever? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You're, you're front row too. All right, man. This is going to be a fun one. I also love like, sir, you and your friends like him. Him. He's never been there. So this is your very first Renaissance Festival as well. Who are these people to you? Your friends. Your friends who are trying to throw you under a bus. Him. Oh, no. Welcome. Welcome. Don't worry, I'm not going to make fun of anyone, but I, I do want to let you know that this is a place where I am going to talk about things that might make you uncomfortable. And to that end, I'm just going to simply say, by your applause, how many of you in the audience would consider yourself kinky? Make some noise. Yeah! That's okay. That, I saw a couple people like, that's fine. So here's the thing, like I said, raised Roman Catholic. And the beautiful thing about being raised Roman Catholic is that everything's a sin. <laughs> really, it's just everything. But I grew up really kind of shy. I may have been a bit of a nerd growing up. I know, you couldn't tell. But. When I finally lost my virginity at the good old age of 20. Woo! <laughs> Gotta have it at some point. <laughs> Thank God it did. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I know I was just about as shocked as she was. I'm like, this is happening! <laughs> <laughs> it's different when there's someone else with you all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Um, after that experience, and after I finally was dating her, she's like, I want you to spank me. And I said, whoa, no. And she said, yes. And I said, I'm Catholic. I can't guilt. I'm trying to get over it. She said, no, I want you to spank me. And I said, absolutely not. She said, damn it, just spank me. And I said, fine. <laughs> because spanking is the gateway king. It's what opens the door to everything. I Thank you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. 
Yeah. Is that also a, a cue for a song request? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just so happens that I was I was about to get in that direction, so thank you. Uh, I love the fact I have the weirdest job ever. I have people come and watch me be a complete fool. I have people occasionally buy me drinks. And now I have people hand me a lightsaber in the middle of my show. Yay! Um, Um, oh, here I thought it might go, me. Uh, it does? <laughs> One. Don't be funnier than me. <laughs> Two, I knew it would like light up and go hum, but I thought it was going to be like, you know, you're late. I, I have to, you know, I, back away slowly, Rob, back away slowly. So, I was actually going to sing this next song, this next song, so as I mentioned, I grew up Catholic, I was what you would call growing up a nice guy. I was the guy that I always told, you know what, you're never going to get the girl. And you know what, I'm alright with that, because as I grew older, I learned, uh, that's kind of where it's at. Being the nice guy is all right. But I'm going to need your help for this. And I'm going to start off just by saying, uh, ladies and men, and at some point pick whichever side is appropriate to you. So ladies, during your, your, this song, I'm going to sing, I want a nice guy. And I just want you to repeat after me. I want a nice guy. I want a nice guy. Men. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I love the fact that you also just had your testicles drop to your knees. <laughs> so we're gonna put these together. I want a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Oh, wonderful. I now present to you the song Sci-Fi Nice Guy. <laughs> As you trip and fall into adulthood, you'll often hear that nice guys finish last. But that's all right, you see. I know the girls agree. A man should finish last, not finish fast. I want a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> by every reckoning and all measure. He may like sci-fi, but by and by, even more he likes to give you pleasure. Sexually. <laughs> He's dapper and he dresses very smartly. Because he knows that steampunk's all the rage. He's a Jedi in the streets. What is it? But a sit down in them sheets. Yeah! Like Captain Alley to misbehave. I want a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. by every reckoning and all measure. He may like sci fi, but by and by, even more he likes to give you pleasure. Orally. <laughs> Now, ladies, you can run and chase your bad boy. You may or may not get him into bed, but you'll find out if you do. When he's finished, then he's through, and he lies there like he's bloody good and dead. <laughs> I want a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Led by every reckoning and all measure. He may like sci-fi, but by and by, even more he likes to give you pleasure, manually. <laughs> a nice guy always asks for permission, but his sense is sexy, everyone knows that. Let him grab you by your heels, and he's sure to make you squeal, cause he knows where the clitoris is at. <laughs> I want a nice guy. I want a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. by every reckoning and all measure. He may like sci-fi, but by and by, even more he likes to give you pleasure. Pleasure, sexually, orally, manually. 
Occasionally, anally. <laughs> Emotionally. <laughs> I know, Saucy. Every time I write my set list down, it's like, you're not going to follow it. I promise I am. And then I get an energy from the audience, and I'm like, oh, you're going to be a fun one, so I'll change it. So, uh, so I think I'd like to change it again, if that's all right with you. Yeah! Listen off, Saucy. By your applause, how many of you are familiar with what liquid courage is? Make some noise. Yeah! Courage, for those of you who don't know, is that drink or six that you need before talking to someone that you are interested in sexually. Now again, grew up a little bit nerd. Hang out on the walls of the dance halls and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, and when I got to college, I, I finally learned. Women are there. It's a place to go, but I couldn't talk to them. And this song is actually based yeah, yeah. on a true story. I call this song, Pour Me a Whiskey, Richard. Last Friday night I went looking for Miss Wright Well looking for Miss Wright now For those who weren't there my tale I will share And every word's true this I vow I was feeling quite weak at the end of a week So I went to the bar with my pair I walked into that car and my was on the floor I looked to the bar and you say Pour me a whiskey, Richard Just fingers will do. It'll help me unwind and in no time I'll chat up a woman or two. My friend, I'll chat up a woman or two. So Richard like a pro grab the bottle and let flow and he set the glass in front of me. His whiskey's caramel brown so I took it slant down. Across the bar what do I see? As a funky drink and color more do. Alas, with a glint in her eye. With a drink to calm my nerves, that'll loosen my reserve. I think that I'll give her a try. But first, pour me a whiskey, Richard. Just two fingers will do. It'll help me unwind, and then in no time, I'll chat up a woman or two. My friend, I'll chat up a woman or two. Barely a blink, she threw back her drink, and then she threw a glance my Not way. Worried about them running out, to my surprise, she started to rise, and approached like a cat stalking prey. She said with a grin, my name's Eleanor Lynn, and you look like just what I need. So what do you think? We each have a drink, then I take you back home with me. Pour me a whiskey, Richard. Just two fingers will do. It'll help me unwind, and then in no time, I'll chat up a woman or two. My friend, I'll chat up a woman or two. Barely left the bar, we had gone too far, till her hands first across my thigh. All the ride home, her hands started to roam. This girl with the devil in her eye. We were barely through the door when she threw me to the floor, and she ripped off everything but my tie. Well, who would have thought I had too many shots? I couldn't get my Peter to ride. Thanks for the whiskey. Thanks for the whiskey, Dick. When Paris was saying much to my dismay, your whiskey gave me a flaccid drink. My friend, your whiskey gave me a flaccid drink. But thank you for the whiskey, Richard. Though limp I wasn't yet done. It wasn't my night, but it ended all right. I finished her off with my tongue, my friend. I finished her off with my tongue. I would like to make sure our gentlemen paying attention to this. Because I said that even though I could not, anyway, I still took care of her needs and all the women went, yeah! And I saw a lot of other people in the audience going, why? No, 
A toast. A toast. For those of you that are familiar with the concept of a limerick, repeat. When I gesture to you the last one or two words, you should know when to speak. Gentlemen, your cock may be enormous. Enormous. That's not why girls adore us. Adore us. So put your face in the happy place and work on that clitoris. <laughs> So I'm starting to wonder, I'm getting a little bit dirtier, are you okay with this? Yeah! Yeah! Wonderful. Now, I have time, unfortunately. I could probably squeeze in two more songs. I, I don't like rushing things, you have to take your time. You have to start appropriately, this next song. Men, we have a body part that fascinates us from the moment we are born. From the moment we are laid in our cribs, our little baby arms start playing with our penis, and it's all downhill from there. Or uphill, depending on how it goes. But here's the thing, the penis is, you know what, I just need to loosen this audience up, and I want to remind you that you are the last bastion for impolite society. If you can cut loose anywhere in this world, it is here. So on the count of Three. On the count of three, I would like you at the top of your lungs all to just yell the word penis. Oh, yeah. So let's give that a try. One, two, three. Penis! That's right. That's right. It felt good, didn't it? That's right. Penis always feels good. You know what I mean. Not always. Ah. Someone's doing it wrong. Um, so, so to that end, the word penis has been used as slang, it's grown. People people have named their penises. People's partners have named them for them. And I will go so far as to guarantee there is at least one person in this audience whose penis has a name. So I would like to remind you, no one will remember this in the morning. But if you have a name for your penis, I Chadwick. 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 That's an alright one. That's an alright one. But now, now, I, now I'm just going to no, sir, 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 sir. You're a little premature on the joke. It happens to a lot of, it happens to a lot of men. I need you to hang in there a little bit. If you need to, think of your mom. You can do it. Just, all right. If he thinks of his mom and is like, that's a bad thing. <laughs> this is not Oedipus in life. <laughs> hey, thank you, Solis. Well done. Uh, but this is... Well, now that I know at least one person has a name for it, I'm going to move on from that joke. <laughs> uh, but this next song contains many, if not all of the words that have been used for penis throughout history. I know. Okay, we're just a lot of time turn. looking them up. Now, the, now, I've got 15 minutes. Jesus Christ, man, you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> so, this... Shit! All right. Just, just stop me midstream, man. Midstream. That's like when they say right there. When someone says right there, you don't interrupt. You don't speed up. You don't slow down. You keep doing exactly what you're doing. Because if you change it, they are not going to climax. And you just ruined my climax, sir. So. <laughs> Are you ready to pick this up and start with me together? <laughs> all right. This song contains all of the words that have been used for penis. It is called Members Only. <laughs> and since we kind of got off the wrong foot there, I need to lubricate. We need to, we need to kind of pick up just a little bit. I need you to follow after me. Right, right here. Quiet. There's penis dick wanker and cock tally wanker and some people call it the dog. Clap bigger, clap hammer, a piece of cold jammer, a six or a seven inch long. Thomas and Peter, Sir Percy Pike Piper, and Johnson Jack Hammer and Hog. Baloney Frick Lizard, the staff of a wizard, is magic one deal lock lock. And a kind of kill boss, a torpedo, banana ball, the yield cucumber by long. Booster by potato stick fishing rod, fish it for pecker, we're cracker baton. Alright, how are you feeling? Feel a little loose up now? Let's go a little faster. Quieter. Stay with me. 
owner and Mickey hot up and Mickey a lug and the fits in her hand. Spin to the top of you, man, rifle, buckaroo, or the team of Mickey man. Dial like one house and it's other men, mountain, salt in her fire from tent. A hand of a tube, look trooper, and little phone is made like tent. Your first water high, but we're riding together. I'll go fill a bug in the phone. Barber pole with a little bug, and it's a trick that will make a girl cold. All right, let us all, let's all finish together, shall we? A little faster. Quieter. Together with me. Can't get hands. Pops the distance. Some people call skin flutes. And they pull a fizzle. The hose that fizzle. His head is coming in loose. Part of our culture. Spiker, nodder, a cat in the clothes. It's low. Spiker, let's circle, rick up, sticker. I'll take you in the throat. It's a tingling, tingler, cutlass, and wiggler. And it's the first all. A form of snaps at the TV. And there aren't any more that prevents it from source. Seeker, be you just whatever you do. You must never say that it's small. I just don't need to I am a I am a dog. I do not need encouragement about chugging, thank you so very much. for one final song. I know, but I have a different show every time. I am back here at 3 and 5.30. My shows are different, new songs, new jokes. Come on back. But I'm going to end with a song. It's a drinking song, and I'm going to need your help with it. It's, it's a song about an alcohol that, for me personally, has kind of some dire consequences. We all have those alcohols that we drink that the next day we're like, never again. Uh -huh. Until the next time, and then that next day, never again. Yeah. <laughs> and this song is called Never Trust Tequila. Uh -huh. And here's the thing. Uh, there is, during this song, I talk about a couple of other drinks that are really, really bad, <laughs> that I don't like. One of them is the Lord. Uh -huh. How many of you right try now know what the Lord is? <laughs> is it was an alcohol created in the depression in Chicago so it is it's bitter it's, it's kind of like absolute but worse it is so bitter that it turns your face into a black hole it's a <laughs> and here's the thing in Chicago they have something called the Chicago handshake if you were a guest if you've never been to town and you go out to a bar they're gonna give you a shot they're like cheers they don't have Malort in their glass <laughs> I spent 47 years of my life avoiding the hell out of the Lord. I was on stage with my singing partner in Texas 